Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Little Guardsmen. Uh, it's time to start day three, I think. Uh, do we need to look at anything we've looked at before? P probably not. Oh this, look, though? another note. That was a different note. Okay. Lil, I'm off run running an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. <laughs> really shouldn't have competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favour and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra fiver just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. Yeah, true. <laughs> what do we got going on today? I expect the arrival of Crown Prince Phineas of Petrad and pray to Cargan of the Marvark Empire. Don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Ash. Okay, so don't feel we have to keep them waiting for three actions, basically. Today is the Goblin Ball Tri-Goblin Cup semi-final between our beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning, the bastards. Ash. There has been a BS report, Bank of the Scroll, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. A reminder to the Guard Force, city officials are forbidden to participate in grey market sports betting. Striker. The Guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant, watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one, deploy the truth spray if necessary. There we go. Uh, in terms of tools then, I think we definitely want to give at least... At least one charge to the truth spray, probably more. Uh, so I'm actually going to give that a couple of charges. X-ray. Oh, we're looking for anything with a secret compartment. I think an X-ray is probably more useful than a metal detector because stuff could might not be metal. The bull whip. Uh, yeah, let's give it give it one of those. Decoder ring. I probably could have used that yesterday. Uh, metal detector, I guess, will do. And then we've got the truth spray. Okay, cool. Feels good to me. Let's begin. What have we got first? Ah, oh, this will be the Crown Prince. Yes, I've sold his I, photo, but it does one. look like him. Heir to the throne of Petrard, here before you in the flesh. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than <laughs> Little you, space. tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> uh, let's just talk to him one time. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine were a complete success. Only four deaths, <laughs> which is far fewer than the last. No matter, we look forward in Petrard. No sense crying over spilt. Um, well, there, there it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, see, he seems on the level. things went well. Jeez, four dead? At an opening ceremony? Yes, tragic. Avoidable, but still tragic. Avoidable. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't anyone important. A few unskilled laborers and one server. Could have been much, much worse. Okay, I think we let him through. Let's not let's not keep him waiting, because it did say don't... Don't... Uh, delay them. Unnecessarily. And with that, it is off to face the princess and destiny. Before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. Is he serious? Uh, okay. Uh, much appreciated, little one. I'll be sure to send a case of quality Petradian fizzy to your local establishment. Nice to keep some of my favorites on hand anyway. Oh, only two. Probably because we gave him the money by the sound of it. Uh, okay, well, I mean, two's the, uh, you know, that's kind of the, the base level. You know, we want, to get, we want to do more, but as long as we don't do less. Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. He's got a little box there. I was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way, in case repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. The prince doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages of wardrobe changes alone. To be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. 
I mean, I think he's on the level, but he might be smuggling something in. I'm sure they were glad to have you as a personal insurance policy. I don't know if I'd go that far. If they didn't absolutely need to hire someone to make sure the prince was here bright and early, they surely would not have. Wouldn't spend a penny on their dying aunt, the Pomp family. Um, so why don't we... Feels like it might be a bit early to bust out the x-ray machine. Uh, why don't we give him a little spritz with the truth spray? I have been completely forthright this entire time. You really should be more trusting of people and not waste your precious crystals on nonsense like this. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. I thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Got a three. Lots of things are falling apart in the sprawl and your pleasant rapport may lead him to fixing a thing or two for you. Okay, good, good. It's a shame we used our truth for it. I just thought with his little Sprinkles. box, you know. <laughs> a small group of black-clad folk approach the shed, weeping and moaning. <laughs> oh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, hoo hoo Oh, Sprinkles. <laughs> Sprinkles. Weep, weep, weep. Okay, well, let's talk to them first. I mean, Sprinkles was the cat that didn't turn up yesterday, so that could be true enough. We are returning from the funeral services for Sprinkles. Oh, no! <laughs> the service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the Sprawl. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euphigenia's. <laughs> I mean, look at his face. I, th I think this is uh, smugglers. Why is Sprinkles? Oh, no. <laughs> Why is, you know who, being laid to rest here? We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. What exactly is a duchy? It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by Her Grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Present? <laughs> and it is a far nicer duchy than some, for instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Calida, what a dump! <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to x ray this thing. Yeah, that's not cat. What's this then? That's, that's a cat. Dust. <laughs> of course it is. There's a corpse in there after all. No, pixie dust. It's an illegal narcotic used by layabouts and no goodniks. What on earth is it doing inside Sprankles? I confess, I've been holding this inside for too long. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. Who does that? <laughs> Okay, so that's that's clearly Malcolm who did the same thing to us yesterday. Uh, okay. I plead guilty, Your Honor, on the grounds of I did it. <laughs> I'm not a judge, you know. Oh. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Oh, I'm not doing that. That's happening automatically, so... 
I guess we've caught the perpetrator and confiscated the stuff, All right. so... Have fun burying your cat. We shall. I'm surprised this guy wasn't involved, though. Look at his face. Sprinkles will be so happy at St. Euphigenia's. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. Sprinkles thanks you. Oh, good. And that's how you x-ray your way to success. Okay, only three though. You did a sting. You foiled a drug smuggler bringing narcotics grade pixie dust into the sprawl inside the casket of a dead cat. What a weird day. Good job. Hmm. Not sure why we didn't get the, the full four stars there. Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game. I mean, as far as I can tell, all of that's on the level. Come on, the big Goblin Ball game starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take a detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Uh, we can try doubt and see is what happens. Is it really your personal driver's fault, or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? You sound just like my psychiatrist. Personal driver? Psychiatrist? Huh. Is there anything you don't have? I don't have time to talk to you all day. I don't know if any of these are going to be helpful. What did it say about the Goblin Bull stuff on here? I'll try calling Ash. Oh yes, Saruna. I heard she was running late for the game. Something about an unfortunate detour at the last minute. Such a shame. Because if a team doesn't win today, then I won't have to owe the mayor of Kaladar five barrels of fine sprawly and mulled wine. Do me a favor. Keep her busy until the game is over, will you? Uh... Does she want a cake? <laughs> I don't know how to give that to people. <laughs> Maybe we can't. Um, okay, so she wants us to delay her. But I'm, she's on the level, so I'm going to let her in. Thanks. Now to wipe the floor with those lousy sprawl brawlers. When you hear the crowd cheer on my name, you'll know it's for me. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> Now, interestingly, there wasn't an option to get a, a fourth star here. We admitted the star player of the Canada Lightning. With her, they're nearly unstoppable. So is that four of the... Okay, that was four of... Greetings! I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. She would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not her. I've sold the photograph, but it, that's that's definitely not the person who was in the photograph. So why don't we try the truth spray on this one? I must resist the urge to need to focus. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. <clears throat> And not some copycat looking to get into the city and use Praetor's likeness to score free hotel rooms. <laughs> Phew, I did it. Now let me through, child. Quala block. <laughs> okay, well let's let's see what star rating I get for immediately just turning her away. I don't. But need I to... am the prattler. The prattler. The phone is ringing. What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear?
It's not them. You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. <laughs> well, that's got to be a good rating, right? Yeah. You saw through the old fake Praetor routine from a mile away. Who does she think you are? Someone who can't see through the old fake Praetor routine? Pfft, amateur. Now, interesting, again, we didn't have the sort of top mark available on that. I wonder why. There you go. This Little is the Praetor. Warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla? Hmm. That's the one. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Uh, yeah, it is. That's definitely her, hundred percent. So, I think we'll go out on a limb and say that. And thus I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. You, little warrior, will have a footnote in history for this encounter. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! <laughs> there we go. After the imposture, it was very clear the visiting dignitary was on the level. Exemplary job granting them immediate entry. No one could accuse you of unnecessarily delaying anyone. There we go. Perfect. And that's it. How do we do? Yeah, I don't know if when you deny people, maybe that's why you don't get a top mark there. 20 gold. All right. Yeah, maybe we lost marks there for giving him the money he wanted. Um, not quite sure what we... Maybe we incorrectly used the truth spray on him. Maybe that's why we got marked down. Not quite sure why we got marked down there, honestly. That was right. See, I didn't... Yeah, I let her in, but I didn't uh, get a chance to offer big, get big stars there. Weird. Okay. Um, not quite sure. Let's move on. I mean, I think, I think as long as it's above three, I'll be relatively happy with the day. Okay, we've got a couple of... Okay, Garby Shop. The Goblin Ball Stadium. Did, we had to... Oh, we had to go and put money on a thing for Dad, didn't we? 30 gold he wants on one of the teams. I mean, I think we'll put it on the... Um, I can't remember what they're called now. The, the one that's not our team, anyway. <laughs> He's kind of the hat. Okay, what have we got here? Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? It's a little on the nose. The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title, and you don't get pizzazz without taking polls, or poll zazz as mm -hmm. I call it. Care to give your opinion? Actually, I've really got to be... Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Boring. Perfect. And the stadium? You would say it's a... Ditch with chairs. <laughs> Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... It has washrooms. Okay, that is super. Your input will be tallied with the others. Thank you very much for your time today. <laughs> okay, well, that, that is going to have an effect. Kaladar Lightning, that's who we want to bet on. So I reckon this guy looks pretty shady. Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, there we go. gambling, commemorative foam fingers. You there. What can I get for you today? Did you say illegal gambling? I sure did. You interested? I'm 12. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You want to bet on who's going to win the big game? I can't be any worse at this than my dad. So sure, why not? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Eh, they're not the best team in the game, but they got a real ring of playing for them. Saruna Goodfoot. Boy, when she gets going, you can't stop her. You sure you want to bet on them? Yeah. How much you're looking to gamble? 
They had one in 30 of them, didn't he? So let's do that. Yeah? Uh, no, it's all good to me. All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. All right, well, can we ask uh, this guy about his this hat, hat again? It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. <laughs> now, apparently, we can go in here. I wonder, I wonder Let's watch some Goblin Ball. All right. After one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with the rare capture of the Golden Mongoose, this is still anybody's game. But look, Kalida, star player Saruna Goodfoot has taken possession of the wagon wheel and she hurls it. And it's passed through the flaming gates. That's the game, folks. Too bad, Sprawl Brawlers, but that is certainly one for the record books for Saruna Goodfoot and the Kalida Lightning. I think we won. Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Cool. Okay, well, why don't we go and spend some money in the shop? We definitely want some uh, some more good crystals. Um, so let's start off. We can go straight to Garby's shop, so let's go there. Well, if it isn't my favorite pint-sized Lil Guardsman, Lil, you just missed the guards from down at the East Gate. They almost cleaned me out, but I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Gee, thanks. Take a look. <laughs> All right, so he's got two of these, so I'm going to... Oh, no, I've got two. Oh, do they replenish every day, then? Oh, that would be good if they do. I kind of assumed they were uh, consumables. We've lost one of these because one broke when we tried to use it. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have enough money now to uh, get any more slots on any of these. But, oh, okay. Because I think we get three per day anyway. So that makes sense. So I was thinking we're going to have to spend a lot of money to get, you know, potentially ten a day or more. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay. We've got this dude here. Let's see what he's got to say. If it isn't my little gate guard friend. Of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. Must have been the rats. Yuck. Rats? Um, what does this mean? Not a classic beauty, natural erosion. I don't know. I mean, natural erosion. Natural erosion, my left foot. Anyway, I can fix that for you. That would be wonderful. For a price. Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do it. No, all right, go on. Let's let's fix all it. All right, up. it's a deal. Easy come, easy go. Beauty, see that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. How long is this gonna take? Listen, lady, patience is a virtue. There you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Hey, so what can now we do now? that's better. Ooh. Malcolm's Air VNV. All right. What about Garvey's kicking it jam? Alright, we'll leave that on for now. Hey, it's this little guy. I did it. 
I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. I don't know. I think it might be a Harry Potter reference, but I'm only getting that because my daughter was going on about Dobby in a sock. Um, and I'm thinking maybe he's supposed to be like Dobby? That's my guess. Let me know in the comments if that's true Just and what the context sock, is. Just one not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Uh. Lil, you'll never believe what happened. I just got sent a whole case full of fine Petrardian fizzy. Oh, shush your mouth. But I don't know what to do with it. I don't dare open it here. It could blow up my inn. But it sure does look pretty here on the shelf. Maybe I'll sell it to go. Mm. Okay. Well, he, the prince kept up his end anyway. Um. Yeah, I guess we get a bed. I think I've done everything I need to do. Let's go to bed. Upon entering the sprawl, Prince Phineas presented himself at court to the princess, but not before he was able to double the fiver you lent him in a game of beer pong at the Basilisk Club, which he then tripled participating in the Leaky Downspouts arm wrestling tournament. However, he then lost it all at a high stakes game of spin the bottle at Harpy's Rest. One of his attendants watched a mage grey crystal fall out of his pantaloons as they traversed the alley behind the Twisted Sister's tavern en route to the palace. Perhaps it's still there in the alley. Ooh. The dwarven tinkerer left his interaction with Lil the Guardsman with a spring in his step. The connection you made in a time of increasing intolerance towards non-humes made him think that perhaps rumours of bigotry in the sprawl had been greatly exaggerated. But unfortunately, just before heading up to bed in his room at the inn, he took in the night air and chanced upon a group of young men leaving the social club for the Sons of Nobles clubhouse. They were able to overpower him and stuff him into a garbage can, and he was found the next morning without his recently discovered faith in humanity. The Duchess of Scarborough, her valet, and the entourage made it to St. Euphigenia's just in time for the solemn event of Sprankle's funeral. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry crotch when it came to the cats in attendance, who commemorated the event by cleaning themselves through the Duchess's moving eulogy. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Unfortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and 2am, with the help of his mysterious contact on the inside, whose office just happened to be down the hall from that particular cell. <laughs> Invigorated by their win, thanks to their captain and her lucky second sweatband, the jubilant Caladar lightning players set fire to a cart full of hay. The fire spread to the neighbouring warehouse, which was full of colouring books bound for St. Euphigenia's home for orphans and other unwanted ragamuffins. Aren't sports teams just the best? The fake Praetor that you very wisely turned away took their shtick on the road and was eventually picked up by the Marvag authorities for impersonating their beloved Praetor. She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet, lovingly called The Nutcracker. I remember in their ballets, they every, <laughs> the ballets carry on until there's only one survivor. Doesn't bode well. Because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She had just the best time. She met a good dog who she patted. She kicked a football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the Westphalian green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. All in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoons in recent memory for her, and she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court, where she dazzled those in attendance. Level four. For all your hard-hitting, high-octane, extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news, they finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to the boring ditch with chairs. It has washrooms. <laughs> I like it. I hate it. We're split down the middle. Let us 
know what you think by calling the station at 555-21. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. Hmm, sure that's going to have an impact on our day. Okay, so it's a little bit of a shorter episode than the last two. However, um, I mean, I don't know how long this day will be, and I don't want to... Uh, drag the episode on unnecessarily, so I think we'll stick to the you know the current rhythm of doing doing a day per per episode, and we'll uh, leave it there for now. I mean, if the next couple of days are also as brief, maybe we'll look to do two in a day. But I, I don't really want to rush this. I want to just sort of you know take my time with it and uh, try and see and do everything there is to see and do. Um, hopefully that's fine with you, and hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. Uh, it'd be great if you could leave me a comment as well. Let me know how you're enjoying the game, the humour, um, anything else really occurs to you. It's always great to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be amazing if you could do that as well. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>